one thing I'm concerned about is just, you know, when you start pulling money out of a budget we've allocated, who's not getting served? Questions continue to swirl around the decision by the Hennepin County attorney to hire outside lawyers to prosecute Minnesota State Trooper Ryan Londrigan. Londrigan is charged with murder, manslaughter, and assault for killing motorist Ricky Cobb II during a traffic stop last summer. Now, the contract with the Washington, D.C.-based law firm signed last week is paying attorney fees of $850 an hour, with the contract initially capped at $1 million. And new tonight, Paul Bloom is taking a closer look at the contract, the dollars, and a county board watching very closely. Um, but I'm just wondering if there's ways we can offset some of the budget uh, for this case. At this recent board meeting, Hennepin County Commissioner Jeffrey Lundy had several fiscal-related questions for County Attorney Mary Moriarty. Are we saying yes to one, or is it three? Or is it five? You know, I'm like, because I feel like once we're in, we're in. A week later, and he still has questions about Moriarty's decision to hire Stepto LLP to prosecute State Trooper Ryan Longigan for last summer's deadly traffic stop encounter on I-94. What's the top in dollar, right? And I think that's unknown. I spoke to Commissioner Lundy about his concerns after the board cleared the way for the outside hire. All those in favor of 11B, please say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carries. I have always tried to not have an opinion. Lundy points out the vote was not an endorsement on the hiring of outside counsel, but rather a decision to give the elected county attorney the right to prosecute cases the way she sees fit. And she's responsible for the voters, and it's my job, you know, to provide that funding. But that doesn't mean, you know, it's also my job to ask those tough questions on the budget. Moriarty is defending her decision to ink this 28-page contract that will pay the D.C.-based law firm up to $1 million. So what I can guarantee you is that I take fiscal responsibility very seriously as well. But the move drew immediate fire from Longigan's legal team and questions from the governor, who has the authority to intervene. We're watching this really carefully. I, I don't think this was a positive development, if I can say that. They can hire... 100 D.C. lawyers, they can hire 1,000 D.C. lawyers. The result's going to be the same. I don't care. I don't care. You have, you have to step out, okay? Moriarty promised the board the money can be fully absorbed in her current $78 million annual budget without any supplemental taxpayer money needed and without taking away from any other public safety priorities. That was another one of my questions. Of what aren't we getting and what other services aren't being provided? Lundy remains concerned the first million dollars in legal services will not be enough. The contract calls for Moriarty to inform the board when billings reach $750,000. I looked at my fellow commissioners and said, hey, are we prepared to say no? Because once you're in, you're in. If you build a house halfway, you can't, you gotta finish it. So um, I think that was my big concern is not knowing. In addition to legal fees, the contract also calls for the county to pay for travel expenses for this new legal team that will be led by Karima Maloney. She spent a dozen years with the U.S. Department of Justice. Both sides scheduled to be in court for a hearing next week. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.